cysts can happen anywhere in the body, and when they're in your breast, they can cause concern. So let's talk about breast cysts. What are they? Breast cysts are actually little fluid-filled sacs that can occur in the breast. And there's, we don't really know why they occur. We don't know what causes them. Um, sometimes it's from blockage of one of your milk ducts, but it's not always from that. Sometimes it's just a little sac of fluid that develops um, in the terminal area where actually your milk starts being produced if you are pregnant and um, if you start breastfeeding. But those little fluid-filled sacs, again, um, can happen anywhere in your breast. They can be so small that the only way you can see them is by doing imaging, or they can be large enough that you can actually feel them on your monthly exams, or your doctor may feel them on your clinical exam. So how do they usually feel? They usually feel like a discrete lump you can put between your fingers. They typically move around or they'll, or they'll roll um, when you roll your fingers over the nodule in your breast. They may actually be tender, and again, that may be the first thing that tells you there's something in your breast is you have focal tenderness. So again, examine your breast in that area. If you're feeling a little lump, the first thing to do is remember these changes are very common. So next month when it's time for you do, to do your monthly exam, check it again. If it's the same size or has gotten bigger, that's when you want to come in, make an appointment to see your doctor or your nurse practitioner and have an exam of your breast. At that point, your doctor may or may not want you to have imaging. And again, remember, it's your body. So if it's still bothering you, ask for imaging. If you're a patient of an age where we don't usually do mammograms, so that's usually less than, less than 35 or so, um, they may start with a breast ultrasound. And breast ultrasound is actually an excellent way of looking at breast cysts. It's excellent at showing fluid, and that's what a cyst is, remember, a little sac filled with fluid, so it'll show those up quite nicely on an ultrasound. So that's one way that you can find breast cysts, is by actually feeling them. The other way we find breast cysts is by imaging. So you say you come in for your mammogram and they find a spot can be kind of scary, but remember, a lot of those spots turn out to be nothing. One of those nothings can be breast cysts. So if we see a spot on your mammogram, and it's either new or a change, or if we don't have comparison studies on you, then we may send you for a breast ultrasound. The ultrasound will tell us if it truly is just a little fluid collection, a little cyst, and again, in, the most, in most patients, nothing else needs to be done. You'll know it is a cyst that's causing the little spot um, or the little lump that you're feeling, and you don't need to do anything about it. Now, occasionally these cysts can be a couple of inches or larger in size, and they can be painful. In those cases, occasionally a doctor will aspirate them. What does that mean? They'll stick a little needle in and they'll take the fluid out. And that can solve the problem. The only problem is a lot of times these little fluid collections will recur. So I don't typically recommend aspirating or getting rid of cysts surgically unless they truly are causing some debilitating systems, symptoms. Now what can you do about them? Really not much. Sometimes you just are one of those that form cysts. And if you have one, it's possible you're going to have multiple. How many women does this affect? Probably at least 20% of women, maybe even higher, close to 50%. Sometimes it is related to estrogen, so you might see it more commonly when you're younger, but I've seen it in 75-year-olds not on hormones, so again, age doesn't really matter. Things you can do to help prevent cysts, there's not a whole lot of things that really have shown to work. In some women, caffeine will affect breast cysts, and the more caffeine you drink, the more cysts and the more tender your breasts are going to be. If you're one of those women, I would recommend trying to cut down on your caffeine. How will you know? I say give it a trial. Give two week period where you drop your caffeine usage and see how it makes your breasts feel. If it makes it better being off caffeine, then try and limit your caffeine intake. If it doesn't make a difference, you can go back to the caffeine you normally, normally drink. Another thing, another couple of kind of home remedies that seem to help in some women, vitamin E and then evening primrose oil. Those are two kind of homeopathic remedies that might help in some women. And again, those usually aren't, aren't gonna cause complications, but again, check with your doctor um, and see if that's reasonable to try adding if your breast cysts are causing you issues. So, you may feel your breast cysts, we may find your breast cyst on imaging. Either way, if it's a cyst, you can be sure it's benign, nothing to worry about. Um, go on about your day and don't worry about those cysts.